If you work in IT, you might carry a lot of USB, but I'm going to show you how to consolidate those into one right here. So let's get started. First, we're going to go to ventoy.net. Here on the main page, you're going to head over to downloads. Once you're in the downloads page, there are several options to choose from. You can either download the zip file to do it directly from Windows, the Linux version to do it from a Linux distribution, or the live CD which mounts it as an ISO. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be downloading Ventoy 1099 Windows. What you're going to want to do is first go into extracting that file, extract it into the same directory using 7-zip here. Once that's done, you'll get a new folder. Go into that new folder, you'll see the Ventoy folder, and then go ahead and run Ventoy to disk. Click yes. Now you're gonna need a good quality USB drive. Don't go for the cheap stuff because Ventoy is write intensive. You are reading and writing ISOs to it on a constant basis and large files take up more memory space. So now let's head over to Ventoy. We're gonna go ahead and choose this here, make sure that that USB drive is selected and it's gonna install 1099. So let's go ahead and hit install. It's gonna erase everything on the disk make sure nothing's on there that you need and click yes and double check and just let it do its thing it's actually rather fast at this process so once it's finished your USB drive is going to be divided into two partitions the EFI partition for booting and then the D drive which is what you're gonna actually put your ISO files in next you want to grab those ISO files that you want to boot off of and go ahead and put them in that brand new D drive it's the D now it goes without saying, the larger the drive the better because you can fit more ISOs in there and have less drives to work with. So get a good dependable drive and don't forget to follow me right here for more content like this. Now if you're completely done with USB drives and you want to set up something on the network to image your workstations, in the next video I'll be covering iVentoy, a PXE imaging server you can set up on one of your workstations and have your workstations boot off of PXE to grab the Ventoy options. Follow right there 